Agud, Oscar uh, Hirlach, and welcome, Minister, once again to this House. Um, I absolutely welcome this legislation before the House today and commend Senator Reardon on its, uh, pushing it forward. It's a first step towards a uh, movement away from treating addiction as a criminality issue and moving towards addiction as a public health issue. The most recent data available from the National Drugs Related Death Index showed that almost two people died each day in 2004, it's the most recent I can find, because of poisoning, trauma or medical causes linked to drug use or drug misuse. More than almost 700 people died in 2014 and the similar number was reported in 2013. So therefore we can choose two people dying a day, that's a, a health epidemic. The aim of injection centres are mainly to reduce the acute risk of disease transmission through unhygienic injection prevention, to prevent drug-related overdoses and deaths, and connect high-risk drug users with addiction treatment and other relevant health and social services. As you can see, these aims are all health-related. I truly believe that addiction is a health issue, not a criminal issue, and I have nothing but compassion for those who are suffering at the hands of drugs. I will come back to this point later, but I believe that we are to be a society that helps and is all-encompassing the people who suffer this way. We should revolutionise a health-based response to our drug problem, not a judgment-based criminal response. However, there are the overwhelming ordinary Josephine and Joe Soap, and they are not drug addicts. Is this legislation good for them? I believe it is. Firstly, I want to address the positive impact that these centres will have on the families of addicts. Having an addict in the family can be agonising. There's constant anxiety and worry about the person's health, their well-being, their estrangement, their behaviour and their impact on other family members. These centres will assist in alleviating some of this worry. If addicts are getting access to services which will protect their physical health, but also create a starting point for recovery for them and their families, then, then they may have a small sigh of relief. Families should not have to carry the worry of an addict alone. And if we move towards a health-based response, as this legislation does, we are showing them that we view their family member as somebody who deserves help, rather than someone whom they need to cover up for, carry on alone in isolation and embarrassment. Secondly, it is a public health issue to have a drug user injected in public places. We all know of the rightful disgust we have when needles are left in places where they could affect the public and children in places like parks and in schools. And certainly uh, in our area, Minister, there's at least four children that I know of have had to had monitoring, health monitoring and tests after playing with syringe filled, uh, blood filled syringes and needles and uh, thinking they were a, a toy, I suppose, because they're hanging around and they see them so often. They've had to go under quite in depth six month um, regular blood tests for HIV, Hep C, etc. and all those other infections. The drug injection centres would address this very serious problem and it also treats addicts with compassion that we treat everybody else with an illness. I heard earlier at the briefing held by Senator Reardon that in Sydney in Australia there was a huge reduction in the cost and impact of public drug use once a supervised injection centre was opened. We are not being pioneers here, but we know this approach works. I've said in my open remarks that I believe that the movement towards drug, drugs as a health problem should be welcomed. In my time as a psychiatric nurse, I have vast experience of people who suffer both a mental health issue and an addiction issue. In fact, the two are so closely linked that I'll be, I'm hosting two events in the constituency in the coming months about this treatment of dual diagnosis. We'll be shedding light on the link between mental ill health and uh, drug addiction. A study by the UK Department of Health put the figures at 75% of users of drug services and 85% of users of alcohol services also experience mental health problems. The link between addiction and mental health illness is very real. It's very important and it's not something which we can ignore. There's a lot of shame, distrust and stigma around both mental illness and addiction. If these centres can be compassionate, non-judgmental places, then maybe we can break through this distrust, shame and stigma, stigma and revolutionise the treatment of dual diagnosis and give people hope.
I do have one reservation when it comes to this legislation and it follows from a discussion that I had with a worker on the ground in my local area. The area, as you well know, of Rialto has been destroyed in parts with generational drug addiction. It is coming round now, but these workers on the ground have, at the very idea of trust, is around how the Gardaí will engage with these centres. Under the legislation, section 11, the Angarda Siakana are permitted to be on the premises without a warrant for the detection of offences other than those disapplied through section 10. Presumably this is to prevent persons dealing, dealing on site or other offences. However, as we know, these, these centres will be staffed by a mixture of medical and social care personnel. As is best practice in other projects, this worker from my constituency believes it should be up to the centre staff to engage Gardaí if needed. Having a situation where Gardaí can drop in and keep an eye will deter a lot of users from accessing the centre. And in this worker's words, what's the point of the service then? Supervised injection centres are not the be-all and end-all of treating drug addiction. They are a welcome first step towards treating addiction as a public health issue and I encourage to hear that there will be counselling and intervention services there also. However, I think these centres need cons consistent reviewing and monitoring, particularly after the pilot, but also into the future, to ensure that it's not a case of there you are, there's your centre, be quiet, inject in peace, leave us alone and we'll all uh, just forget about each other. Instead, these centres should be viewed as a piece of the puzzle that is needed to treat addiction and hopefully we can move forward to become communities that do not suffer at the hands of this disease and the stigma around it. I look forward to the passage through the Shannon. Uh, uh, agreeing on locations is uh, another job of work and that's for public reps and local authorities. But let's get this legislation through as a starting point. Gurmagoth.